match. Oh, I don't know if this Dana was going to do this. Uh, he loves music. I think I should be. Yeah, I'm still still tuned in, so I'm going through the um, going through the uh, what's it here? Uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, uh, um, rabbit ears or something on the back. Um, I'm surprised this doesn't have a internet radio because I was just thinking I was just want to listen to some non-sync. Um, yeah, what's that I just see on there? Yeah, I'm seeing little little specks of uh, some sort of static static noise here. There's some sort of static noise. I think it might be something to do with a startup. So I'll uh, just turn that off. Uh, turn it back on. I think that was some sort of glitch. Okay, some classic FM. Uh, not sure if it's outputting yet. Or oh, getting a signal. Uh, if I'm getting a signal, video signal that's coming down through here. Um, let me just try and figure it out. I know why. Yeah, I've got a, oh no. Um just trying to remember how do I do a, how do I use it? Oh yeah. Use that. Yeah, so that kind of keys the uh, little thing on there. On and off down there. Okay, boom. Bada bean, a bada boom. Okay, got some non sync going through. No, nothing on the left, center, right side because I've not activated it uh, through a matrix D, uh, DDS Neural X. And of course, uh, it's going, hang on, if I, if I remember right. It's probably going pro logic through the um so I'll switch that to stereo output. Okay. That's it. That's better. So when I have uh, 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 the rest of the system all networked and such, um I gotta figure out how to get the SDU fours connected. Um, I'm not rushing it because it's going to be pretty. It's going to be a little bit more complex. I mean, this this was just. I knew when I was undoing the cables and thinking, um, why am I undoing the cables very carefully? And I thought, you know, because I wanted to somehow kind of integrate that uh, with the five screen out channel output, and then putting it through the Sony SDDS. And then back out and sort of thing, and into it. Very complicated. Um, and I thought, I think, well, these are kind of operating on a minus 10 dB at the moment, unless I get a computer, um, Windows, configure with it, and then I can go in and then switch it back to a plus 4 uh, dBU. Um, but that wouldn't be really uh, advisable going probably for the input on that, I don't think, as much as setting the S, uh, the DTS Professional CAD 5 to plus 4 dB of uh, going to the input on the multi channel here. Because um, this is really only designed for up to minus 10. Um, so if it exceeds, it's gonna uh, it's gonna it's gonna distort on the input. 
Um, so I have to get all this all, all connected back up the CP200 and making a lead up down here um, to connect. So just doing, just going along at very steady. Oh, but great, I've got some non sync music back up. Some uh, relaxing classics with classic FM. <sighs> so just put a little on the fader there. Yeah, kind of surprised I didn't put an internet radio on this. Hmm, baffling. That really is baffling. <laughs> 